So hello guys and welcome back to Excel Shared Academy. So in the previous lecture, we talked about a replication fog and the different enzymes which are required. We have also discussed about the RNAs, H and DNA ligase, right? And in today's lecture, we will be starting the proper replication. That is like starting from the origin. Like what is the origin over here? So as already we have discussed, in the case of prokaryotes, we have got only one origin of replication, right? And that is known as ORIC. It is known as ORIC. Okay. And uh, it is also important to remember the features of ORIC. So I'll show you these uh, sequences also. No need to remember the sequence, but to remember the characteristics of the ORIC because to these region of ORIC, only the proteins will come and bind. And once those proteins bind, then only the replication will start. So if you remember, in the case of uh, bacteria, you have got the circular DNA, right? So there will be a formation of a bubble. That bubble is nothing but the proteins which have bound to the ORI C have started the separation of the strands. Okay. And then we see that this uh, bubble is passing like this. And finally, the structures what we get is something like this. And that's why it is also called theta replication. Okay. It is also called theta because it looks like theta. So the first stage of replication involves the identification of the origin of replication. And in the case of bacteria, there is only one. So the complex of proteins, they come and bind to the site, open up the helix, and then they start the replication. So DNA occurs in both the directions, bidirectional as in the yesterday's class we have discussed, <coughs> and on both the strands, creating a replication bubble, which appears as theta. So the two sites at which DNA synthesis occurs are called the replication fog. So yesterday we saw what is replication fog, right? So if suppose something is like this, so you will have one in this direction and one in this direction. So total two replication fog will be there. So as the replication proceeds, the replication fog moves around the molecule, opening up the DNA strands, synthesizing new strands. And uh, finally, at the termination site, it will meet and stop the replication. Now the two completed circles of DNA are still linked and have to be separated by the enzyme topoisomerase 2, which makes the transient break in both the strands of the molecules, allowing them to disconnect. Is that what I mean? You have got the DNA. DNA replication complete hone ke baad, what we see is a structure like this. Okay. Ye bhi aapka double stranded rahega. And even this one is also your double stranded. Just because of the nature of the replication, the two molecules will be tangled to each other. They are also called concatomers. They are also called concatomers. <coughs> now, in order to separate karne ke liye, what we need is the two strands need to be broken and again isko kholne ke baad, nikalne ke baad, reseal it. So that is done by topoisomerase 2. In the case of bacteria, it is the virase. Okay. In the case of eukaryotes, we say it is topoisomerase. So look at the figure here now. Okay. So we have got the origin over here. And then what do you see over here? The replication fog. Ek yaha pe ho gaya aapka, ek yaha ho gaya. Chik hai? Now you see the replication is proceeding in both the directions. So ye aise bhi jayega aur aise bhi jayega. Then here they have shown, can you see it? So aapka daughter strand bhi banta ja raha hai saath mein. The, as your parental strands are getting open up, right? So this structure is almost similar to like theta. That's why it is also called theta replication. Now, what do we see? It's keep on replicating. At the end, we have got the termination sequences. So once the DNA polymerase reaches the termination sequences, it is going to fall off from the DNA strand. And then those will be removed. Now, you can see that the structure is tangled up tangled up, right? So this will be opened or this will be sorted by the help of the DNA uh, top, topoisomerase. Okay, so there is a problem in that as a helix is opened up, the DNA ahead of the replication form uh, would become overwound, right? That is because of the fixed chromosome, because it is circular. Hai. 
and they cannot rotate relative to each other just imagine like it uh, you know you are having a rubber band you just keep on twisting twisting to see what will happen after some time it becomes very tight so we need to remove this torsion so that torsion will be removed if you can make a one cut open up the dna and then again reseal it so for that to remove the tension okay on the dna helix while replication is going on it's done by the topoisomerase 1 Guys, is it clear? Like how these topoisomerase one and two are functioning? Okay, so just imagine here, yeah, pe aapka replication fork move ho raha hai. So what will happen over here? This portion is going to become very tight, right? Because this is keep on opening. Just imagine how you open a thread or something. What will happen at the end over here if it is fixed? यहाँ पे टाइट हो जाएगा राइट सो वी डोंट वांट दैट थिंग व्हाट विल हैपन इफ सपोज द डीएनए इज नॉट बीइंग लूज और आप हमेशा उसको ऐसे खोलते चले जा रहे हो तो क्या होगा व्हाट विल हैपन टू द डीएनए यस चांदनी मैम कैन यू रिपीट द क्वेश्चन ओके सो आई एम रिपीटिंग so you have got the dna okay this is your dna and replication fork is moving in this direction just imagine this part of your dna is tightly bound okay it is not allowed so once you keep on opening of the dna this is a double strand over here and these strands are becoming very tight like this what will happen eventually if suppose it is not loose from here यहां से लूज नहीं किया तो क्या होगा एंड यू कीप ऑन ओपनिंग ऑफ द डीएनए एनीवन कैन वी व्हाट विल हैपन टू द डीएनए श्रुति इट कैन नॉट रोटेट मैम ये सब डिस्टॉर्टेड इन द पॉइंट ऑफ ब्रेकिंग यस दैट इज व्हाट आई वांट टू डू हियर so it is distorted correct it is not able to rotate correct but it is distorted to the point that it might break just imagine na kisi cheez ko twist karte ja rahe karte ja rahe karte ja rahe karte ja if the other end is not loose what will happen then it is going to break then okay so in the same way abhi main fir se ek bar diagram banane ki koshish karti hu so let's say that we have got a double stranded dna like this circular dna hai and here your replication is starting okay something like this so you have got the replication for moving in this direction moving in this direction now just because we are keep on opening of the dna so this portion yahan pe wo khulta jayega utna hi aapka piche tight hota jayega right now since yahan se bhi ho raha hai to yahan se bhi tight hota jayega <coughs> now If you don't lose this thing, what will happen? The DNA is going to break, and with the broken DNA, the organism is not going to survive, right? So to op to make it open like this, you know, आप उसको lose करने तो आप कैसे करोगे? Just take a DNA, and यहाँ पे आपका tightly wound DNA, right? So topoisomerase what क्या करता है? One strand means it is going to make a cut on one of the strand. Okay, एक cut यहाँ बनाएगा. Now what happens? The DNA is open one strand, so this strand can open up, free हो जाएगा. It will take a round, round, round. It will get loose and again come back and become uh, ligated with its own strand. So जो अभी आपका जो इतना coiled, coiled, coiled structure था, अभी वो आप पर loose हो जाएगा ऐसे. ठीक है? Idea आ रहा है, guys? कैसे हो रहा है वो काम? Yes. Yeah. okay so this is just the model like how the dna replication is initiated <clears throat> so here you can see you have got the replication origin sequence over here now aage hum padhenge that it has got five nine mer sequences and three 13 mer sequences okay it means what they these are the regions where the dna a proteins okay dna 
ए डीएनए ए प्रोटीन्स आर बाइंडिंग so this means the recognition of the replication origin of replication has started okay the binding of the proteins so uh, for now let's consider those are certain initiator proteins so what will happen to the replication origin sequence is when the initiator proteins are coming in binding so they they form a loop like structure now this loop like structure again will recruit helicases okay this helicase is finally going to open up the dna so now you can see that uske theek baju mein like uh, next to the origin of uh, replication uh, you can see that the bubble has formed right now since the helicase are denatures the dna it is going to recruit the other enzymes like primase primase ka kya kaam hai to give you the primer and the dna polymerase will come and it will start the synthesis okay is this much clear like what happens how we are going to start if anyone is asking about the origin of replication in the case of prokaryotes you are going to talk about oric okay okay so now let's go jump into the detailing abhi tak humne kya dekha tha sirf overview dekha tha from here onwards guys you have to remember this theek hai isko mug up karo samjho you don't have choice you have to remember all this thing So in the case of E. coli or any other bacteria, the initiation is ha happening at the origin, which is known as ORIC. Okay. Now the first protein which comes in binds to the ORIC, which I was talking about, that it has got the five nine mer sequences. What does it mean? It means that you have got the five regions in the sequences, which is made up of nine nucleotides, to which the uh, dna a protein will come and bind okay and you have got 13 mer that is 13 nucleotides ke aise teen region hai which comes together and forms a loop like structure because here your proteins will come and bind kaun sa protein dna a protein okay so it recognizes the oric sequence and opens up duplex at the specific sites in the origin now dna b protein which is the helicase guys in the case of prokaryotes we don't call it as helicase we we are going to call as dna b protein which is going to unwind dna now this dna b is recruited with the help of dna c agar aap dekhoge so we know that helicase is what it's your hexameric structure like this so this structure is bound with the your dna c as a okay so this dna c red color is bringing your green color helicase on the top of the uh, replisome so that your replication can be started then you have got primase which is known as dna g protein primase kya hai aapka to synthesize rna primer it is a kind of rna polymerase remember ssb single stranded binding protein DNA gyrase is your DNA topoisomerase two, <coughs> which release the topological stress of the DNA unwinding. Then dam methylase, it is going to methylate five dash G A T C sequences at the ORIC. Now, why this is required? We do understand the function of DNA A, right? हमें पता है DNA A का क्या function है. राइट इट इज गोइंग टू रिकॉग्नाइज ओराई सीक्वेंसेस या इसका मतलब वहां पे आपका रेप्लिकेशन शुरू होगा डीएनए बी का काम क्या है इट हैज गॉट दी हेलिकेज एक्टिविटी डीएनए से इज रिक्रूटिंग और इट इज हेल्पिंग दी डीएनए बी टू गेट लोडेड ऑन टू दी डीएनए प्राइमेस का काम क्या है टू सिंथेसाइज प्राइमर दिस इज नथिंग बट आरएनए पॉलीमरेज एसएसबी माइंड्स टू द सिंगल स्ट्रैंडेड डीएनए uh now why it is binding to the single stranded dna so that it does not form duplex again theek hai replication ko continue rakhne ke liye we need to have the uh, strand to be kept as single stranded so that the leading and the lagging strand can replicate okay isliye hame ssb chahiye then dna gyrase to remove the topological stress now what is the function of dam methylates okay i agree that it is going to methylate at the 5 uh, dash gatc sequences okay but why this methylation is required can anyone guess the answer is anyone akshaya what is the importance of uh, having the methylation uh, 
this mutilation is resulted in the prokaryotes just to differentiate its own uh, genetic material from the foreign uh, material, like any other material like virus. Yeah, just repeat one second. I couldn't hear it properly. Uh, uh, this methylation is uh, present in prokaryotes uh, as a defense mechanism where it can differentiate its own genetic material from its foreign genetic material in any uh, virus or anything, which is actually... <laughs> okay. Your answer is half correct. Okay, it is true that um, it helps in differentiating from the uh, foreign material Right. The main purpose of methylation is C. Jab aapka DNA. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, methylation also differentiates between the genes that are uh, supposed to be active and the ones that are supposed to stay silent. No, that is different. Oh, thoda different. Hai. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll, we'll come to that. Okay. So what you are saying is uh, that comes when we are going to talk about the gene expression. Okay. Replication may. Okay. Main case of uh, methylation is. See, as she said. Pehla scenario kya hai? To differentiate between its self-DNA from the foreign DNA. Right. Now, in the self-DNA, you see that there is a methylation happening at all the GATC sequences at ORIC. Okay? And foreign DNA mein methylation nahi hoga. So, this is one mechanism. This is actually the application of having the methylation. Main purpose of methylation kya tha? So, when you have got DNA which is getting replicated, so you know that the parental strand is going to have the methylation at GATC. Correct? The daughter strand is not going to have the methylation because it is just a newly synthesized. Agree? Now we need diamethylase to methylate the GATC sequences so that the daughter strand will be ready for the next round of replication. Otherwise, what will happen? It will be recognized by the cell as newly synthesized or will never be replication ke liye ready for replication. Getting the point now? Yes, ma'am. Huh? So, <clears throat> at the starting, your parental strands are methylated, daughter strands are not methylated. At the end of the replication, we want daughter strands also to be methylated so that they are ready for the next round of replication. Okay, if there is no methylation, the uh, proteins like DNA A proteins, they won't be able to recognize the ORIC. Or so what will happen? The initiation or the replication initiation is not going to get started. So that's why this methylation is required. Okay. So this is also correct that it helps in uh, differentiating the self DNA as well as the foreign DNA because the viral DNA won't have the methylation. Okay, good. Now, the sequences. So, or I see it has, uh, it is made up of uh, 245 base pairs and all. What you need to remember is that it has got two short sequences. <coughs> Sorry. That it has got two short conserved sequences. Okay. And those are five repeats of nine base pair sequences and three repeats of 13 base pair sequences okay now so five base pair uh, sorry five repeats of nine base pair sequence yahan pe aapka dna a protein bind karega okay? like for example this is your orisi double stranded so you have got one two three four five to this your dna a protein will go and bind. Okay. Second, you have three repeats, sorry, three binding sites of 13 mer units. Okay. 13 mer means 13 base pair. This is a region where it is rich in AG, AT. So you have got mainly AT region. Now, here is one very important question why the origin or the ORIC? Uh, or the origin of replication is rich in AT sequences. 
why not gc yes Yes. Ma'am, it is uh, easy to break 80 bonds uh, than the GC bonds. Good. Very good. Correct. So it is easy to separate the uh, separate the strands rich in 80 sequences because the hydrogen bonds are less as compared to the GC rich region. Very good. Okay. So we have got this region which is known as DNA unwinding elements. So this region is your DUE. Due, DNA unwinding regions which is rich in AP sequences. So, this was your PYQ mein question. Tha. Okay. So, the binding of DNA A to the 9 base pair requires ATP which facilitates the initial strand separation of E. coli leading to the denaturation. So, of course, so when you are going to, once you start your replication, you start needing so many amounts of ATP molecule. Okay. So, the first ATP which is required is the step where you need to open up the uh, duplex. Okay. So the first opening of the DNA is with the help of the ATP hydrolysis. Okay. Remember. So the binding of the DNA to the 9 base pair requires ATP, which facilitates the initial strand separation. Okay. So here you first ATP hydrolysis used well. Now DNA C proteins will, uh, will bring the DNA B protein, which will result in the opening up of the DNA B ring. So DNA B kya hai? What was your DNA B? DNA B ka function kya tha? Yes? Unwinding. Uh, of course, it is helicase. Yes, I wanted to hear helicase. So, it is the unwinding of the DNA. Now, what you are seeing is DNA C is helping in the opening of the DNA B ring. Why? Because it is a hexameric ring. It will stay in center. Mein space rahega. So, you need to open up this ring. Ring open hone ke baad kya hoga? You will have DNA passing from here. Okay. So, it's a DNA pass. Karega. So, us DNA ke R par jaake, the DNA being, that is your helicase will come and get closed. Ye kaam kaun karta hai? Ye help kaun karta hai? DNA C karta hai. Thik hai? So, now the helicase is being loaded on the denatured uh, DUE sequences on each strand. Right? <coughs> Abhi aap dekho ki now, I said on each strand. Ek yahaan pe a jayega. Ek yahaan pe a jayega. So you'll see that both are in the opposite direction. And we know that in replication form, if there is one leading, then it will be opposite wala leading. Hoga. Ye lagging hoga, and this will be lagging. This helicase is direction and this helicase is this direction. Mein Clear? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Huh? Koi doubt hai, you can ask me, I can repeat, no problem. Okay, so now <clears throat> the DNA B, which is a helicase, it is loaded on the two single strands. Then it is going to travel in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, unwinding the DNA. And that's how your replication fork will start moving in this direction as well as in, in this direction. <coughs> now, so as this is moving, all your single stranded by uh, all your single stranded dna will be bound with the ssb so that they do not come together and uh, duplex ban jaye so keep to keep them into single stranded the single single stranded binding proteins will come and bind now since here will be the torsion uh, at the end jahan jahan replication for move kar hai, there will be a torsion so that stress will be removed by the dna guides finally the ORIC DNA is methylated by the dimethylase at the end of the replication. So, kya karta hai? it is going to methylate the adenine of GATC sequences. I dash GATC sequences. <coughs> Guys, just go through once the entire uh, slide because each uh, step is very important to remember. Just go through once. So, we talked about ORIC that it has got two short sequences about the five nine base pairs and three units of 13 
बेस पेस ओके सो यहाँ पे आपका डीएनए ए बाइंडिंग प्रोटीन विल कम एंड बाइंड एंड दिस रीजन इज रिच इन ए टी एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज डी एन ए अनवाइंडिंग एलिमेंट हियर ओनली द फर्स्ट ए टी पी हाइड्रोलिस विल हेल्प इन दी स्ट्रांड सेपरेशन ओके देन डी एन ए सी विल ब्रिंग द डी एन ए बी हेल्प इन द ओपनिंग ऑफ द रिंग एंड गेटिंग लोडेड ऑन टू दी सिंगल स्ट्रांड डी एन ए सो वंस इट गेट्स लोडेड इट इज गोइंग टू मूव इन दी फाइव प्राइम टू थ्री प्राइम डायरेक्शन in both the strands then uh, helicase is doing its activity ssb aayega gyrase aayega and finally the dimethylase yes guys yaad rahega ma'am hmm what is the full form of ssb single stranded binding protein okay. this is single stranded single stranded dna right so see after opening with the help of the helicase the because of the complementary base pairing okay it might form a duplex again so to keep them separated the single stranded binding proteins will come and bind to them so jaise jaise dna polymerase aayega waise waise ssb hat jayega okay okay yeah okay so let's move on this slide is very important for you guys okay please remember <clears throat> now look at over here so this is how your uh, e coli ka genome looks like so now if you see in the figure you can see over here we have got the oryce now this oryce they have stretched it and here you can see see yahan pe aapka hoga aapka nine base pair wala there is one more over here so total five should be there and in few references you will see that there are only four these uh, binding sites okay but in actual it is five so just remember don't get confused and then here you have got three one two and three so here 13 wala okay so now these are the sequences you don't need to remember so when n is present it means what does it mean n we know that in the case of dna you can either have atgc But if suppose n is present, what does it mean? It means any nucleotide can be present. Okay, among all the four, the probability of any nucleotide can be present over here. Okay, so these are the sequences. You don't have to remember the sequence. No need. Just remember that to the nine base pair, the DNA A protein will come and bind. Okay, now. there is one more thing which you need to remember or understand is that there is another sequence called ter sequences now this ter sequences are meant for the termination of the replication okay so these are the ter sequences we'll talk about termination uh, in detail okay so i hope you got the idea how the Uh, or i sequences looks like in the genome okay now again see <coughs> so these are the three repeats of the 13 base pair and these are the 1 2 3 4 and 5 repeats of the nine base pair sequences okay so these are the arrangement now can you tell me what the arrow marks indicate why the arrow marks over here it is in one direction whereas in this You have got in this direction also and in the opposite direction also. So Akshay, can you tell me why the there is a difference in the direction of the arrows? What does it it signifies? Huh? Uh, no idea. What about other Shruti Tanvi? the binding site for dna a protein which makes the uh, for for both the directions is it about something like the directions of see uh, application uh, not, i don't know it's okay good at least you people are tried i just want you to use your brain and make thinking possible so it was a good attempt but over here direction means that if you know that in the case of dna either this sequence is going to be read as sense strand or maybe this sequence in this direction is going to code for some protein okay 
सो देन वी गिव दिस डायरेक्शन अभी अगर ये स्ट्रैंड इस तरह से रीड करूंगी तो ही कोई जीन एक्सप्रेशन होगा बट दिस पर्टिकुलर सीक्वेंस इज इफ आई रीड इन दिस डायरेक्शन इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू गिव मी एनी प्रोटीन ओके सो दैट अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द न्यूक्लोटाइड इज गोइंग टू गिव मी द जीन एक्सप्रेशन इसीलिए हम उसको वो डायरेक्शन देते हैं अभी समझ में आया सी इन इन आर केसेस आल्सो वी आर हैविंग डबल स्ट्रैंडेड डीएनए राइट जब हम डबल स्ट्रैंड बोलते हैं बट इट इज ओनली द वन ऑफ द स्ट्रैंड व्हिच इज गोइंग टू एक्ट एज ए टेम्पलेट फॉर आर जीन एक्सप्रेशन करेक्ट सो अगर ये मेरा टेम्पलेट है सो आई विल हैव माय जीन एक्सप्रेशन ऐसे it is going to give me the rna using this as template it is going to give me the rna right now the sequence of this rna and the sequence of this strand is going to be the same agree yes ha huh? right yes hai na bas aapka wo यूरासिल और थाइमिन का लोचा होगा अदरवाइज इट इज गोइंग टू बी द सेम है ना तो इस हिसाब से हम हमारा टेम्पलेट स्ट्रैंड या सेंस स्ट्रैंड बोलते हैं सो द जीन एक्सप्रेशन जिस डायरेक्शन में आपका आ रहा है लाइक मेरा इस डायरेक्शन में आ रहा है सो आई एम गोइंग टू हैव दिस डायरेक्शन ठीक है अगर कोई ऐसा जीन होता जिसका सीक्वेंस इफ आई रीड इन दिस डायरेक्शन ये मुझे जीन एक्सप्रेशन दे रहा है सो देन आई हैव दिस डायरेक्शन थोड़ा सा सेंस बन रहा है यस मैम हां इररिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ ओवर हियर डीएनए ए बाइंडिंग प्रोटीन्स कैन बाइंड ओवर हियर ठीक है ये जो पांच रीजंस है यहां पे वो बाइंड कर सकता है इररिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ एनी डायरेक्शन बिकॉज़ इट्स अ प्रोटीन प्रोटीन कैन बाइंड टू द डीएनए यू हैविंग द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक इंटरेक्शंस इसका पॉजिटिवली चार्ज उसका नेगेटिवली चार्ज इट इज गोइंग टू बाइंड ओके okay? उसका उससे कुछ लेना देना नहीं है ओके ना कमिंग ओवर हियर लुक एट द सीक्वेंस हियर ओके सो यू हैव गॉट द एटी रिच रीजन एंड द डीएनए ए बॉक्सेस हमने क्या सॉरी एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी हाँ so here we have got these five regions nine base pairs wale and here we have got these three regions of 13 base pairs wale okay so these are your at rich region which is also known as due due elements the dna unwinding elements right and here dna a boxes means it is going to bind over there now what happens is your dna a comes and it starts binding like this so what it is doing it is bringing all those five regions together jiske wajah se ye loop like structure ban ja raha hai theek hai now because of this it is now going to help in the separating or the atrich region abhi wo kaise ho raha hai this is utilizing your atp the first duplex formation that is your first uh, the dna strand separation is done with the help of the atp hydrolysis okay now dna b is recruited this helicase is your dna b अभी इस फिगर में दिखाया नहीं है बट इट इज डन विद दी हेल्प ऑफ दी डी एन ए सी प्रोटीन ओके तो सी का काम है बी को लाना एंड टू गेट लोडेड ऑन दी स्ट्रैंड नो वॉट विल हैपन द रेप्लीकेशन फॉक्स ऑफ फॉर्म सो दिस विल गो इन दिस डायरेक्शन दिस विल गो इन दिस डायरेक्शन ओके इतना क्लियर है आइडिया आ रहा है धीरे धीरे बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग वेरी स्लोली 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 ऑल द प्रोटीन आर बींग एडेड ओके ना सेम थिंग यहाँ पे मैंने ये फिगर इसलिए रखा बिकॉज वी हैव गॉट दिस डी एन ए सी ओवर हियर ना इन दिस फिगर यू कैन सी दैट द डी एन ए सी यू हैव गॉट द प्रोटीन ओके लूपलेक्स स्ट्रक्चर बन गया है एटीपी हाइड्रोलिसिस हुआ है सो आपको यहाँ पे कॉम्प्लेक्स ओपन 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 हो गया है ना विद द हेल्प ऑफ द डी एन ए सी कैन यू सी इट्स ए रिंग लाइक स्ट्रक्चर योर बी इज हेली के इज इट्स ए रिंग लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इट इज बींग रिक्रूटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द डी एन ए सी DNA C लाएगा, DNA C हट जाएगा and this will get loaded onto the single stranded DNA. Now you will see that two are recruited. So, एक इस डायरेक्शन के लिए, एक इस डायरेक्शन के लिए. Now what you call as this particular thing? 
it is known as the replisome okay replisome yeah now coming to the helicase loading okay so this is very important it is not given in any of the uh, textbooks properly uh, this i have taken from the research paper but the concept is given in the textbook okay now so how helicase is being loaded at the origin of c or ic so you have got the open complex single stranded binding proteins are there now you can see that these dark gray color things are dna c and this is dna b ye jo upar ka jo ring structure aa raha hai theek hai dna c hat gaya you have got only the ring structure now in detail ye kaise ho raha hai look it over here so you have got dna c and dna b together guys can you see it over here this gray color thing yahan pe yeah now this gray color yeah. thing means yeah they are bound with the atp dna b dna c is bound with atp so it is known as b6 c6 inactive right why 6 because it's a hexameric protein right it's a hexameric protein so b ka 6 unit ho gaya dna c ka 6 unit ho gaya which is bound with the atp now slowly slowly out of 6 atp dheere dheere hydrolysis ho raha hai so hydrolysis ho raha means what energy is released right and this atp is becoming adp which they have shown in the form of black color correct okay so we are going in this direction now so what happens this becomes b6 c5 kyunki ek atp hamara adp ho gaya hai can you see the gap over here this gap yes sir ha huh? clear hai okay <coughs> eventually जैसे जैसे आपका हर एक ए टी पी हाइड्रोलाइज होता रहेगा एंड इट विल बी रिप्लेस बाय द एडीपी फाइनली व्हाट विल हैपन देयर विल बी अ गैप ओके एंड दिस रिंग विल गेट ओपन अप एंड गेट लोडेड ऑन द स्ट्रैंड ठीक है नाउ व्हाट विल बी दिस लोडेड ऑन टू द स्ट्रैंड so the gap to get loaded onto the single stranded dna okay now you tell me guys are you able to imagine i don't have any animation to show this thing <coughs> yes just see koi bhi ek broken bangle rehta hai what you can do you can just little open up and you can put along the uh, single stranded right koi bhi ek single strand cheez le lo uske upar agar hum koi toota bangle dalte hain to kaise dalenge right so uh, you can't have uh, jaise hum bangle ko end se pehnte hain apne starting of the uh, finger se pehnte hain we can't do with the dna right because dna is such a long and we can't wait for the end ki end mein hi aake aapka helicase aise ring like structure jaise aise open kare we can't do that so what we do is if suppose this is your dna we break the helicase over here aise ek nick rahega ye aake yahan pe se load hoga and then wo reseed hoke fir wo apna kaam karega okay this is how we do in the case of dna replication now abhi tak humne jitna bhi padha hai just combine together with all those diagrams this is your uh, replication initiation Yes, guys. कहीं पे भी कुछ भी डाउट आ रहा है अभी आपको सो जनरली इट रिक्वायर्स अराउंड सिक्सटी बेस पे सो दैट इट कैन स्टार्ट विद दिलीकेज एक्टिविटी एंड योर डीएनए बी इज एक्सामर ओके दिस हेलीकेज प्रोटीन दिस इज सेम थिंग लाइक वॉट वी हैव जस्ट टॉक्ट अबाउट so once the replication fork is generated chromosome assembles at the origin uh, initiates the primer synthesis this is called priming priming matlab primer synthesis primase aake apna prime primer lagana shuru kar dega then only the dna polymerase will be recruited okay 
तो अभी डीएनए पॉलीमरेज नहीं आया है पिक्चर में इनिशिएशन में अभी तक क्या हुआ है आपका सिर्फ ओरिजिनल ओरिजिनल रेप्लीकेशन रिकोगनाइज हुआ है स्ट्रैंड सेपरेशन हुआ है हेलीकेज आया है और अभी प्राइमर uh, आया है ठीक है प्राइमेज आया है इट ओनली अकर्स एट वन इन दी ओरिजिनल रेप्लीकेशन ऑन द लीडिंग स्ट्रेंड वेर एज इन द केस ऑफ लैगिंग डिपेंडिंग ऑन देंथ वी हैव गॉट दो मेनी प्राइमर्स इन दिस इज ओके priming is done by the dna g which is your primase okay now this needs to be activated by dna b so dna b kya aapka helicase helicase is going to activate your dna g okay <coughs> and the entire application for will proceed in phyto thread as direction in relation to the lactin strand now this is the energy which is required during the first in the melting so which is uh, used by the dna a jo first aapka strand separation hoga theek hai then dna b jo DNA C ने रिलीज किया सो ऑलमोस्ट लाइक इन द प्रीवियस फिगर वी सो दैट ऑलमोस्ट अराउंड सिक्स ए टीपी मॉलिक्यूल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड सॉरी देन दिकेज एक्शन ऑफ डी एन ए बी सो डी एन ए बी जैसे जैसे आगे बढ़ता रहेगा वैसे वैसे आपको ए टीपी रिक्वायरमेंट लगेगा देन डी एन ए गायरेज क्या करता है टेंशन को कम करता है राइट सुपर क्वालिंग को कम करता है दैट इज लाइक स्ट्रैंड ब्रेकिंग एंड स्ट्रैंड ज्वाइनिंग सो उसमें भी आपका ए टीपी लगेगा then of course for the primase activity and the dna polymerase to begin the replication so you can see that so much amount of energy is being required during the starting of the replication this uh, slide is also very important please remember <clears throat> now this is the entire uh, replication which we will be discussing in detail this is just to give you an overview okay uh, so look at over here so you have got the replication for can you see This is your leading strand. Upper <coughs> wala. This is your leading strand. This one. Okay. Now, in the case of in the case of lagging strand, you can see that these are the SSB proteins, which keeps them as single stranded. जहाँ जहाँ आपका primer आएगा, वहाँ वहाँ आपका ओकाजाकी फ्रैगमेंट सिंथेसिस होगा ठीक है एंड यू कैन सी दैट डीएनए पॉलीमरेज 3 इज मेनली फंक्शनिंग ऑन दिस लैगिंग स्ट्रैंड आल्सो ऑन दिस लीडिंग स्ट्रैंड आल्सो एंड दे आर बीइंग हेल्ड टुगेदर विद द हेल्प ऑफ द बीटा क्लैंप दिस इज योर बीटा क्लैंप वी विल टॉक अबाउट इट ओके दिस इज योर मेन बीटा क्लैंप एंड दिस इज योर स्लाइडिंग बीटा क्लैंप वी विल टॉक अबाउट इट देन यू कैन सी डीएनए गायरेज यहां पे जो सुपर कॉइलिंग है उसको कम करता जा रहा है so replication fork aapka is direction mein ja raha hai and aage aap dekhte rahoge rna primer banata ja raha hai dna polymerase synthesize karta ja raha hai jo bhi gap aa raha hai to dna polymerase after removal of the primer uh, dna polymerase one is coming dna ligase isko seal karta ja raha hai theek hai okay this is just the overview so i'll be stopping here now guys agar koi doubt hai we can discuss now